Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with my Mercedes ML300 and we're going to be having a close look at the rear air spring on this car, the rear right. So something I've noticed with this Mercedes ML300 is overnight the rear right air spring slightly deflates. Some days I can come out and it'll be completely flat and others like today, it's just a fraction down. So if you just compare side to side, around to the left side, you can clearly see that the left side is sitting higher than the right. So to solve this problem, I've bought a replacement air spring, which I'm gonna to install to this vehicle this morning. So let's get this vehicle into the garage and let's get started with replacing this leaking air spring on this Mercedes ML300. Okay, so we've got the car into the garage and the very first thing I'm going to do is to remove the fuse from the airmatic suspension system. So as you can see, I've removed that fuse and the reason we take that fuse out is we do not want the air compressor for the airmatic suspension coming on whilst we are doing this job. All right, so the next thing I've done is take that rear right wheel off, but I just want to run through a few safety things. The first thing I did was chop the front wheel so that the car won't move around. I've then jacked up the car with my jack, and as you can see, I've thrown in an axle support stand just so that the car won't fall on me whilst I'm working on this procedure. So coming around and looking at the rear air suspension, it is a good job that I've noticed the car deflating overnight because you can really see that right rear airbag is completely worn on the back side. You can see it's completely shredded down there. Uh, the bag's rotted. So we're gonna get this bag out and we'll get the new replacement rear airbag in. So folks, what I'm gonna do is take a 10 mil spanner and I'm gonna crack that airline, uh, let the air pressure out of the air spring and then I'll remove that fitting completely. There we go. So now that I've deflated the air spring or the airbag, you can see that really can push that bag in and straight away it comes up from that bottom cup. So once we've got the bag deflated, it's simply a matter of pushing the bag up and then pulling it down from the top and you can see the uh, bag comes out. Now, I've seen some other videos where people remove the electronic sensor, the back part of the wishbone there, to get the spring out kind of through the backside. Because I've done it taking the wheel off, I'm gonna try and compress the air spring and see if I can pull it out through here so that I don't have to remove that extra sensor. There you go. And there's the removed air bag. You can see clearly this is the problem with this airbag, look at that. You can see the retaining clip for the air spring up there. So we're gonna push the new air spring onto that existing retaining clip, and then we're going to put a new fitting on the airline, connect the fitting, check that it's all good, and start the car up and see how we go. So getting the old fitting off should be as simple as pushing back the fitting along the airline. See if I can do it with one hand. There you go. And what that does, that just exposes that little retaining collet. And then what I'm gonna do is you just get a screwdriver and I'll just twist it and pull the collet off and then we can get the fitting off. There we go. Now it should just come off easily. There you go. And then we should be able to just pull off the original fitting. And put that to one side. I have seen some people cutting the air lines and then just pushing the plastic pipe into the fitting without removing it from the new air spring. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think what I'm doing here today is absolutely the way to do this. Okay, so I've got the new fitting. First of all, I'm going to put the fitting on and then I'll put the collet on to keep the fitting on the airline. There we go. And we've just got a little bit of airline protruding the end there. That will be fine. So let's get the new air spring into the car. Let's get this done up. Be very careful not to cross thread that.
So as you can see, it was actually easier to come in the top there. I just had to slightly deflate the bag and then I've got that installed, clicked it up onto the retaining pin and there was a little notch in the bottom of the wishbone. We just had to rotate it and then it just dropped in. So now we're gonna hook up the airline. So hooking up the airline, I'm just gonna do it by hand to start with because it's super important not to cross thread this. So as you can see, I've screwed that all the way in by hand, and you can see it's all the way in there. The other thing is to be careful not to over tighten this. It does have an O-ring, so just do it up snug by hand. I might just get a 10 mil spanner onto that and just very carefully just tighten that, just that last bit, but don't over tighten this fitting. So we're done. Air springs installed. It was literally that easy. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop the wheel back on, but I'm not gonna lower the jack completely. I'm just gonna lower the jack enough so the car's sitting at the ride height, what I think would be the normal spacing of the wheel to the arch, and then I'll pop the fuse back into the airmatic suspension, start the car, let the car inflate the new air spring before I lower the jack completely. All right, so as you can see, I've still got the jack in the car. I've lowered the car down to about the normal ride height there. So I'm gonna pop that fuse back in the front and start the engine, and we'll let the car pump up the new air spring. So I've just taken the jack out, I needed two hands to do that. You can see the car is sitting nicely here. If I compare the right side to the left side, the car's sitting pretty even. Now, folks, I'm just raising the car and lowering it a couple of times just to test that the new air spring is all 100% good. You can see I'm racing the car here right now. So that's it folks, that's how to replace your faulty air spring with a new replacement aftermarket air spring for your Mercedes ML vehicle. I've just taken the car for a test drive and the car's driving and handling well. So that's it, if you've liked this video, do feel free to like, share and subscribe to the channel.